This is Dubai Eye 103.8. Now, I'll tell you what, I sat in the office um, a few, few days ago and one of our colleagues came up to me and said, have you seen this video? I know you do a lot of live music on your show. Have you seen this video? And I said, no, I haven't. And then somebody else came to me. Literally about four people came to me and said, have you seen this, this country video that's, that's doing the rounds that's gone viral around here? So I thought, well, let's have a look. You know, so many people are coming telling me about it. Uh, and uh, Country Rich Dubai Poor was the video, so I had a look at it and thought, wow, these guys are really good and got a really fresh sound, and so I had to get them in the studio. It's a real pleasure to welcome Down Home, they are Mike and Adam. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, nice to be here, man. Thanks for having us. Yeah, howdy, Mark. Thanks yeah. for having us. You, you sound like Owen Wilson, I think. <laughs> I look like him, too. <laughs> you do I? a bit, yeah. don't you? Uh, guys, uh, you've caused a, a musical sensation here with, with country music. I mean, I think it took you guys by surprise as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we 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 did it on purpose. You know, I mean, we we yeah. said let's let's roll the dice and, and put on the hats and boots and do it. But the uh, the response has been overwhelming, and it's uh, it feels good. It's nice to see people resonating with it. It know? is, isn't it? And it's it's a refreshing sound. I was telling you just before we went on that I remember a very famous um, uh, venue called Pancho Villas in the 1980s that uh, featured country music heavily, and then that changed. The musical polities changed, and I never saw country music again. And now. <laughs> Here it is all over again. Yeah. Whether you want it or not, here we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Set, you know, round two. Because you guys as well um, <coughs> perform in, let's say, regular pop bands, don't you, and cover bands? That's how we started out over here, for sure. Um, obviously, there's no blueprint, or we didn't see a blueprint for how to be a country band in Dubai. So we were just mm-hmm. playing with, with, the, with the other bands over here, just doing the circuit, trying to make a living playing yeah. music. But uh, eventually, we we knew we wanted to do this, and and we, we rolled the dice on it, like Mike said, and it's it's working out for us. So, how did this germ of an idea come to uh, do a country music song? We uh, well, we like I said, when we were doing the circuit, we we put on the hats and boots and started playing country songs, and that was uh, sort of a gamble enough, you yeah, know, because uh, yeah. no one else was doing that. We weren't playing the typical pop songs, and we were getting away with it, and that was cool. Um, and because we were doing that, we had a lot of people gravitating towards us. And we built a really cool following of, of like-minded people who were who were interested in this. And eventually, they just kept hounding us, saying, "You know, do an original song, do original song." Mm-hmm. So, kind of looked at each other and said, "Well, what would an original country song about Dubai be like?" And you know, yeah, we'd been bouncing the idea around for quite a while, kind of as a joke. Like, yeah. like Mike said, if uh, if a country song's about how your truck breaks down, the the Dubai country song would be about how your Ferrari broke down, or <laughs> you know, you, you lost your wife, and and so they, the bank took away your house in a country song. But over here, it'd be the bank took away your <laughs> your multi million dollar mansion or something. Oh, God, you <laughs> yeah, you're hot. And you've done a lovely video to go with it, haven't you? That that uh, you know features. Um, a, a, there's a fabulous car in it, and next to it is a. a, a a bit of a banger, and you get you get into that one. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, Isaac. That's our buddy <laughs> Isaac's, our buddy Isaac's car is the one we use as the uh, the counterpoint to the McLaren. Um, but Adam was saying, like, you know, some of his buddies, like, oh, where'd you get that car? It's like, you know, one phone call. It's, you know, <laughs> yeah, in Dubai, it's not it's not so hard. We 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 literally asked one person who said, yeah, I think I know somebody who can bring you a supercar. Yeah, yeah. And, and one week later, yeah. it was there. Yeah. So tell me a bit, a bit about the shoot, about the video shoot. First of all, uh, shout out to Katie Vickers. She was the one who uh, shot it, edited it, sort of directed the whole thing. You know, one one uh, one person army there. Yeah. Um, we wanted to, you know, just like with the song, we wanted to be a little tongue in cheek. We wanted to have a little humor, but also, you know, uh, pay homage to the to the music itself. We wanted to, we didn't want to be a parody, but we wanted to, you know, we we like to laugh. You know, yeah, to be funny. So we kind of sat down with Katie, um, and actually, we didn't even have the the lyrics recorded yet for the song. We only had the music. So we sat in a cafe and played the song, the like the mm-hmm. instrumental track, and sang it like out loud yeah. in the middle of this cafe, so she could kind of get an idea of what the song was going to be. <laughs> and then, yeah, we just kind of put together a few gags, you know, like the the McLaren versus the, yeah. the funny car and stuff, and food in our hats. And, and these are all yeah. things that that have happened to us like the food and the hats thing i mean when we when i first got over here they put me up in a five star hotel but i didn't have a dollar i didn't have a durham to my name so i was <laughs> i was go and people can relate to this yeah. i know a lot of people have been in this situation i didn't get paid for about 4 months after i got over here and i was living in a five star hotel but i couldn't afford to leave oh, no. Free breakfast and, and so and i'd get up and go to the <laughs> breakfast buffet every morning and i'd stuff my pockets full of food yeah. and take it back upstairs so i had food to eat all day so it's that whole idea yeah. the song kind of is about about that idea that you know there's there's a lot of opulence a lot of wealth but 
you, you might still be a little poor in the midst of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know everybody around the office has been talking about this song, and we're going to hear it live. And this is the first time you've performed it live. On the radio. Uh, on the radio. On the radio. Yeah. Um, so once again, this is two guys, great guys, down home. And this is a, a very uh, tongue-in-cheek song that they've written about our beautiful city of Dubai. It's called Country Rich, Dubai Poor. Take it away, guys. All right, here we go. Here we go. Outside my window, yachts are floating in the sea. The mess I make gets taken by the cleaners every week. I don't own no boats, I'm just a fish stuck on the shore. I'm country rich, but I'm Dubai poor. I ain't proud, but I guess I got to come clean Spent a little more than I should on a pair of diesel jeans My pockets ain't so deep that my cash drags on the floor I'm country rich, but I'm due by poor And them boys back home still bounce from check to check and I'm burning through cash like a barbecue briquette Well, you won't see me blowing smoke on the cover of four No, I'm country rich, but I'm Dubai There's no oil in my bloodline, there's no title to my name Instead of ticking boxes, I've been working night and day. When that work is done, it's when I work some more. That's why I'm country rich, but I'm Dubai poor. And them boys back home still bounce from check to check. And I'm burning through cash like a barbecue briquette. Well, you won't see me blowing smoke on the cover of four. No, I'm country rich, but I'm Dubai poor. And them boys back home still bounce from check to check. And I'm burning through cash like a barbecue briquette. Well, you won't see me blowing smoke on the cover of four. No, I'm country rich, but I'm Dubai poor. Yeah, I'm country rich, but I'm Dubai poor. <laughs> I just love it, love it. Thank Very you. clever Mark. little song. I, I, there's got to be a follow-up to that, surely, um, in the oh, works. Yeah. There yeah. is. Actually, uh, it's technically out right now. It's called Doing All Right. It's more of a brunch anthem, uh, similar theme, you know, like a love song to the middle class here in Dubai. People come out working to make their life better um so yeah it's out there now we're working on a little lyric video for it we're gonna yeah you know put it out in maybe a month or so something like it's, that it's so refreshing to your country again you know I, th there was a time i thought years ago where people used to look down on country music like you know there's not many chords in it and you know some ridiculous lyrics uh but i, I don't know it, it seems to have stood the test of time and, and country is a solid solid genre of music isn't it i think uh well adam you want to do your line what's <laughs> what's country music adam? and country is just three chords and the truth yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's, it's working class music. It's folk music, right? And that's existed since cultures have existed. And every culture has one, you know, has a form of folk music. So I think that there's something very, uh, the core of... It's of, fundamental. Of, yeah, it's fundamental to, to, to humans. And so I think when you hear it, there's, you know, simple yeah. and harmonies. And, you know, there are fantastic versions of complex music and jazz and all that. And it's great. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes you just want to hear something simple and, yeah. and hum along to it. And, and, and uh, line dance to think, it. Make you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did you listen to a lot of country when you were growing up? Uh, I mean, what what was it your Reluctantly, genre? Mark. When I was growing up, man, there was only, <laughs> I grew up in a town of 300 people. Where, where's uh, that? In, in rural Missouri, right, right on the Missouri-Kansas border. Yeah. And um, Craig, Craig, Missouri. Craig, Missouri. You got to get that out, promo, man. Shout out to Craig, Missouri. <laughs> Craig, all, Missouri. All 20 of you back there <laughs> listening. Yes, sir. 19 since you came in. Uh, <laughs> so there was only maybe one or two radio stations that came in that weren't country music. I mean, yeah. it, it's just, it is ubiquitous in that area. That's all there is. Right. Yeah, and and I and I kind of fought against it as a kid. I wasn't that into it, but it but it got in my blood. You know, you just can't mm. 
They had both kinds, right? Country and Western music. Yeah, we yeah. had both kinds of music. Right. Country what, and what Western. What about you? Was, was you I, I came up in the punk rock scene, man. I, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, I know it sounds strange. And I, the, the, sometimes I look in the mirror and go, man, how'd I get here, right? Um, but I think that, like again, the idea of like folk music, working class music, same thing with punk, is that it's 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 saying something. It's trying to speak truth into something. And and so when I was a kid, you know, I was angsty and, and loud and fast. And now I've gotten old and slow. So <laughs> mm. you know, now I'm I'm more into the the old man's version of punk rock, I guess. But um, you know, you always had outlaw guys like Johnny Cash and Waylon yeah. Jennings, and yeah. you know. I think that that's what attracted me to country um, when I first started getting into it, which was, you know, around the time I moved out here um, and, and met Adam, uh, met my wife. She's from Austin. So you can't can't marry a woman from Austin and not, not, not have a little bit of country in you. you know. So uh, and then it grew on me, man, like learning it and giving it a shot too. like back in my punk days. I was too punk rock for anything else. And so I realized how much I was missing out by by sort of putting up those walls with genre. And so now I'm just kind of I'm into everything. You know, mm. have, have you, any of you managed to get to Nashville? I've actually never been in Nashville. Right. Yeah, but would you like to go to Nashville? Of course. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like the yeah. Capital. If anybody's listening, they want to record us in Nashville. <laughs> yeah, holler, holler all right, us at Down Home Tunes yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Uh, where can we see you playing? I think you've got a gig tomorrow. Yeah, you? tomorrow night we are at uh, Stars and Bars La Mer, um, and that's going to be around eight o'clock. Uh, should be a good one. And uh, every Friday we're at the Radisson Blue uh, brunch at the Fire Lake Grill, and that's. We've had that one for a year. They signed us again for another year. And we, we love that place. Uh, yeah, the that's, staff is that, great. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. contracts, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and 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 like it's it's a real cool, cruel cool spot, man. Everyone's real chill, and it's a it's a good time there. And are you mixing it up, or is it all country, or are you mixing it a little bit? I mean, country and western. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we do some pop hits. Like we do, yeah. we so we do like country versions of of pop yeah. songs. You know, like yeah. we do like Justin Bieber, uh, yeah. Nelly. We do a Nelly <laughs> song, but they you, you they don't sound like Justin Bieber and Nelly. They sound like a couple a couple sound like of country. <laughs> Yeah, country pickers doing those songs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good deal. It's still I, Dubai. I think you sound fantastic, and I'm sure our listeners do as well. You're going to do one more for us, and I think you dropped yeah. the name of Johnny Cash earlier. Yeah, that's on. right. I wore them, I wore all black today, kind of pay tribute. Before we play that song, I just do want to do a quick shout out. Um, obviously, we're a duo, uh, but we have a band behind us in okay. the recording. I just want to say a uh, big thanks to Isaac Tabor. Uh, Steve Bedford and Dave Morris and those fellows are some of the most talented musicians out here. You know, you came here as a musician. This yeah. city is full of uh, great musicians, and we just happen to be friends with uh, some of the best that I, I'd say. Yeah. And uh, they did yeah. a fantastic job on that record. And Elvis at Soundstruck Studios put that thing together. And I've never had a more professional sounding piece of music. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's great it's stuff, isn't it? Yeah. There's most, quite a community now of musicians here, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, and, and, I, and I think they all try and help each other out. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. mentioned Paddy Man, um, who's been in the studio several times. You know, he helped you out when you first got here. He did. I, I when I first landed here, I, I kind of saw what was happening in the music scene and thought, well, maybe I maybe I do want to get back into that. And, and Mike and I actually sent Paddy Man a message. I, I think back then it was probably on. Facebook, yeah. and he Live sent journal. us, he, yeah, maybe on MySpace that far ago, <laughs> but then he sent us a message back that was two pages long, very detailed about, hey guys, if you want to get involved in music here, here's how you do it, here's yeah, how you yeah. contact. He, he didn't, didn't owe us He didn't nothing. know he didn't us know from us. anybody. Yeah. He didn't need to do anything. What He was just an outstanding guy, so we think the world of that, Patty, man. Yeah, yeah. he's a cool guy. Right then, anyway, uh, second song, uh, Johnny Cash. Um, right. Take it away once again. This is Down Home. You can catch him tomorrow night down at La Mer, and uh, another residency as well which we'll go over one more time. Once again, Down Home, live on The Night Shift. I hear that train a-coming It's rolling around the bend I ain't seen that sunshine since I don't know when I've been stuck in Folsom Prison Time keeps dragging on That train keeps rolling On down to San Antonio When I was just a baby Well, my mama told me, son She said, always be a good boy Don't you ever play with guns But I shot a man in Reno Just to watch him die Whistle blowing, I hang my head and cry. Mr. Show off, blow that whistle for us one time. Oh, Rich 
old seat and then a fancy dining car. They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. Well, I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. Oh. Well, them people keep moving, and that's what torture. Thing one more time, Mr. Showalter. Oh, yeah. was absolutely outstanding guys uh, I've had some great music in here and that is right up with the very very best well, awesome. I Mucho love the harmonica sense. as well brilliant so once again where can we see you guys live in town alright tomorrow night Stars and Bars La Mer around 8 o'clock and uh, every Friday at the Fire Lake Grill in the Radisson Blue in Business Bay for at the brunch. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. Come on down. Yeah, I'd like to add one thing to that. Yeah. You can stream our music. You can find it on uh, Apple Music. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it on Spotify. So it's there for download or stream. We're also on Facebook and Instagram at Down Home Tunes. Right. Great stuff, and I take it the video's up there as well. The video's it? on there. It's on YouTube as well. <laughs> yeah. Country rich, Dubai poor. Guys, it's been an absolute blast having you on the yeah. show. Thanks a, a million for coming in. Uh, and uh, great live music. Support live music in Dubai. It's as good as it gets uh, on, the, on this planet, let me tell you. This is Dubai I 103.8.